One in 10 Americans will have a medical device implanted in their body. Virtually all of us will be treated with a medical device at some point during our lives. They can be life-saving. But a new documentary available exclusively on Netflix claims that certain ones can also be life-threatening. The Bleeding Edge explores the idea that profits often come before patients. Medical devices are everywhere. It's pretty amazing. Tongue depressors. Prosthetic limbs. Implants. Pacemakers. Because it's everywhere, we have to be careful. There's this hunger to have the newest technology. It's a very profitable part of the healthcare system. What they did was willfully ignore the risks that they were putting these people to without telling them. After my operation, I started having health issues. I was going blind, I was seeing stars. It changed the full direction of my life. How can you clear something that's been shown to be dangerous? It's gotten worse over time because of greed. Welcome to the business. People think pharma's got power. No, 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 no. The device industry has much more power. We have more power in this room than most governments around the world. We can no longer rely on the medical device companies to do what's in the best interest of the patient. I don't know how anyone could let this happen. This has to come to an end. Dr. Martin McCary is the director of Johns Hopkins Appropriateness in Medicine Project. He's also the author of Unaccountable, What Hospitals Won't Tell You, and How Transparency Can Revolutionize Healthcare. He joins us now via Skype. Dr. McCary, thanks so much for coming on the show once again. Dr. McCary highlighted a lot of things regarding medical devices. Just want to ask you whether or not you believe patients should be concerned when it comes to medical devices. We've seen patients' lives saved by a heart stent. We've seen patients finally walk again because of an artificial hip. We've seen patients cured of chronic abdominal pain because of a hernia mesh. Medical devices save lives. The problem that we're facing is that we have an appropriateness problem in healthcare. If we asked doctors, as we did in a recent study, what percent of medical care in America is unnecessary. The doctors answered in the survey, this was 2,100 doctors across the United States, that 11% of all procedures are unnecessary in their opinion, and 21% of all medical care. So we need to stop for a minute and ask ourselves, as we're wowed by this new technology of medical devices, we can implant them, but should we implant them? When you're a patient and you're told you need a medical device, that may be true, but it may also be that there's treatment alternatives that are reasonable. And I think that's the crux of the matter. What do you think is fueling this sort of epidemic of, of unnecessary treatments? Well, we asked the doctors in the survey that very question, and they said part of it is a consumerist culture. Patients come to us as doctors, as you know, demanding things. And we've never seen this level of consumerism. Part of it, the doctors say, may be fear of malpractice. Part of it may be the profit motive. That is, we directly make more money for the more that we do in our fee-for-service healthcare economy. But we have this incredible fascination in society, not just in healthcare, but in the broader society out there with new technology. We generally believe that it will solve our problems. And I think that's a false perception. In this documentary, what I found really interesting is in most cases, there was care needed, but because of how sexy technology can be, it was often at least seemed to be implemented before enough studies were truly done to prove efficacy, to prove safety. 